Hello my friends welcome back to the channel. I have a card for you today using three of the beach huts that we have. I am also going to be using the set Wish You Were Here for my sentiment. I'm going to stamp these down. I'm just making sure that I've got my the bottom of my beach huts as straight using the grid of my Misty. I'm stamping them down with the premium dye ink. Just making sure I've got all that covered. I'm just getting my eyeball of where I want these images and off screen I've stamped out using just some masking tape. Just the center one. I'm just going to use the center one to put him in the foot in what's the foreground. Up front. Up front. We're just gonna go up front. Mental blank. I've been away all weekend um, working so the brain is now having its weekend. <laughs> anyway, we're going to stamp down all our images. I decided to use, I was originally going to put that left hand beach hut over on the right but because we've got the the fishing rod and that's it was just going to look weird. It was just going to look not quite right. So removing our mask now and that's where the magic happens. I just love it. It's just so cool, especially when you have something that looks like a just a hot mess. I did a card that used the Bird of Paradise and I can't think of the name, Mushroom House, one of the Mushroom Houses I think it was and oh my goodness it was it with the masks still on it just looked a mess it just looked like a hot mess but when you the magic always happens when you take the mask off and you can just see everything comes into perspective it's just so great we've stamped our little sentiment down I figured I had the misty out before I started to color I just stamped my sentiment and we're going to heat that up getting into our there's a lot of coloring I did google beach huts and in my area we do have them they are here um, more so a little, a little bit away from me not exactly right up close but you know like 30 minutes away from me we do have them they are very very colorful but they're one color and I thought that was a little bit boring <laughs> a little bit boring so we're going to give these dudes a lot of color the googled photos I found did actually have a lot more of what I'm going to do to here so I don't know where the photo was from or anything it's just a google image so that's all that we're going to go with so we've got E57 E55 and E31 for our sand. I do love this color combination. I'm using a mixture of just straight brush strokes and then the stippling as we can see here. So you're going to get that texture in your stand. I'm using that with a quite a few of the different colors. This is where come in if you know my channel I quite often am replacing my, oh, I should say quite regularly, that would be better English. I'm replacing, slowly replacing my tips of some of my, of some of my sketches because it's not, it's not cheap. I'm going to say that right now. It's not cheap, but replacing the, I'm keeping the brush tip, but I'm replacing the chisel tip because I very, very, very rarely use it. So I've replaced it on some of the ones like my reds, obviously some of my browns, ones that I use quite a lot. And as I go through, if I find that I need a finer tip, that's when I replace it. I just find it just helps me to get that finer dot because I think I'm a little bit heavy handed. I know I'm a little bit heavy handed. Now this kind of was going to be sort of why R09, we've got right R08 and R05. It was meant to be sort of a real nice 
orange and I like it and I don't mind it there but later on when I have all the contrasts of the other colors and they have a much deeper gradient between the darkest and the lightest I decided it was not it was not going to do it was not going to do so I am going to go over that a little bit more some of this like I think this one I do keep it the orange yeah I do keep this one the orange but the center one I'm going to change it's going to be a real orangey red obviously and then we've got a little bit more red on the other one so I'm mixing and matching all my colors because yeah they just look like they had a lot of nice bright variations so this is my yellow combination I also am done out about putting a sentiment in the middle the plaque in that center beach hut but I my sentiment that I wanted to use was a lot longer so I thought about writing in you know because a lot of people name them they have some sort of name on them and I thought about that but I decided I just didn't need it there's a lot going with the coloring and with the beach huts in this in real life here in Australia or no let's just go here in Melbourne most of the beach huts are very side by side they're not like this one where we're going to have some pushed back and some pushed forward but I liked it I liked it and I wanted to do it this way so that's the way we're going to do it it's your card you do it the way you want to do it it's all good so the combination we have for our yellows were our E50, E99 not 59 E99 YR24 Y17 and do use a little bit of a Y08 but very very little and you can sort of see there with the the yellows that we've got a lot more depth of the color that's why the orange just ended up being alone as I said alone it would be fine but it just ended up a little bit more flat so this is my go-to of my blues I love this color combination for my blues I just love it we have B99 B97 B95 and we go down to B93 it just I love it I love it so we're putting a little bit of darkness on the edge it in some ways that's where you're going to make it look a bit more rounded but what we're also going to do is I'm actually going to use the blue right there and just to draw in those lines And I'm much happier with that but I just can't leave it flat it's got to have some sort of shadow some sort of depth because you're gonna have projection of a shadow from the railings it's not gonna be much because they're super super fine but it's still there so I can't help it mostly around the door trims and that sort of thing um, and even I think most of the railings except the blue one here but some of the finer ones I'm just going to go over in one color it is way too small and way too fiddly to worry about it too much and it is a flat object but we want a little bit of definition in it see the centers the railings going down I just went over in one smooth color I don't really have too much to tell you today it's slowly starting to warm up here in Melbourne after what is a horrible weekend well, it wasn't a horrible weekend the weather was horrible the weekend was nice but the weather was horrible so I'm going to add in the R89 to give this orange a little bit more depth and that's the great thing they're translucent so they're going to layer over each other really really well next is my R46 and that 
And then we're going to come in with our R24. If I was doing this a straight color, I'd go down to R20 or 22, probably 22 mostly. But that's just going to blend in with our orange. And I just got a little bit carried away, so we'll get rid of that with our O markers. So they're multi. They're nice and bright. I'm just saying, they're nice and bright. Who wouldn't want to be reminded of summer? For here in Australia, summer is coming. It is, as I said, slowly warming up. Very slowly. It teases every now and then of some super nice, warm, beautiful day. And then throws in all the freezing cold all over again. But it is in the air, which then means allergy season is of course coming see this one i've gone down to the r22 my hearts in my center i don't know what they're meant to be i'm going to go through and color the doors and have some of the white slats of wood they are going to be white sorry about that so we're just finishing up our reds and you can see the difference there. I've left the orange, as I said, because there was less of it. There was less of it, so it didn't matter so much. The little banners, I'm going to just color those with my blues. And then going back in, coloring my roofs. I'm just going to use two colors from the little lifesaver and we've only really got we've got to color the sky we've got to color our white on our windows the windows I'm going to keep oh yeah I forgot about the floor the little stands so we're going to keep that pretty straightforward and pretty simple And this is basically the same colors now i did same colors as the sand but i decided they didn't stand up just so much so i just went over that with the e59 so a little bit darker so the doors and other white panels we've got c5 c3 and we're going to go down with a little bit of c1 just to blend that all in a little bit And the same thing pretty much for the rest of it it's gonna be all colored in the same way basically with a little bit of each of the colors this is again where I'm using with the C5 I'm using the replaced fine tip because yeah you know as you get older the eyes are not what they used to not yet what they used to be but it's a slow process because it is an investment but I plan on using these markers for a long long time so I don't mind you know as I get a bit older I don't mind having you know being able to still color my markers and if my hands get unsteady because my mum has a little bit of a tremor so who knows that I think they're a bit, little bit generic but you know who knows so if I get that way then I will have the finer tip that I might be able to help it might help me I don't know you don't know what's going to happen in the future but that's that's my plan so we're using B three zeros and B four zeros for our sky so the three zeros is going to be close to our huts now you do have to be really really careful especially around reds and blues um i didn't have a problem but i was careful you can very much pick up the lighter color uh, or the darker color should i say with the lighter color which means you're going to get this smudge of red where you really don't want it 
If I was smart enough, I probably think about doing these before do the sky in the first place. But I never do. I never do. It's terrible of me. So we're just going to back it out. I've got a piece of black cardstock and I'm just sort of, I eyeball it. I don't measure things, not really. And I just put a little line and trim it off. This panel is clearly going to be stuck down with a bit of foam. Well, quite a lot of foam because I'm over a teaser and I am proud. And then we're going to just glue this down, making sure our card base is well, opening up the right way, because how many times have we done that around the wrong way? We don't need to show our hands. We know we've all done it. I've left a quite a decent sized border around it. I just really like to have... This was a lot of card, so that's why I like to have a little bit of a, a little bit extra border on this one. Most of the time my borders are pretty thin. You can see that with the black We've used a little bit of Wink Costello on the, as I said, I don't know what the little heart on the door, little decoration, I don't know. A little bit of the same blue for our windows and we're going to colour those, well it's not colour, we're going to put glossy accents on all of those. The, as I said, the decorator on the windows, on the doors, the windows and that's our card. I hope you're well. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.